For most of the time after making this video in October 2015, there were a very low number of dislikes given for it. Then suddenly from the 14th to the 19th of December 2016, over 700 fake dislikes were added. Of course, it is impossible to prove who purchased these fake dislikes, but it would not be far-fetched to imagine that Eric Kajewski was behind it. In spite of the public humiliation of this expose, Gajewski in his diabolical madness has continued to advertise to buy fake backlinks, website traffic and YouTube subscriptions on seoclerks.com. And now to the video. A false traditionalist schismatic named Eric Gajewski, who goes by the name of Tradcat Knight, claims to have the quote most viewed and followed traditional Catholic apostolate on the internet, end quote, and over 300,000 followers on Twitter. The truth is that Eric is a bad-willed liar and fraud. This is a website called SEO Clerks, which allows people to buy, sell and trade fake views, followers, likes, etc. This is Tradecat Knight's account, and this is a post where he is advertising to buy fake website views. He explicitly asks for keywords, uses the same picture of Crusaders, and a search on Google shows that even after 57 pages, the same Tradecat Knight shows up. This is definitely Eric Gajewski's account, and I believe it is the place where he buys most, if not all, of his fake followers and views. He has left comments saying thanks to people he has purchased services from. He says, quote, you're the best to a non-Catholic. Eric is a deceiver. Eric advertises in the want to buy section of his account. He says he, quote, needs forum posts and wants Tumblr followers, website views, forum members, blog comments, YouTube views, likes and subscribers, as well as comments for his blog page and votes for his blog poll. People then bid to sell their fake followers to him. Eric also advertised in the services section to write a review recommendation for $5. He says he will write a very good review or recommendation for any website, blog, or article a person has. According to this, he is not excluding writing a recommendation for a website, blog, or article that promotes things like contraception, abortion, homosexuality, heresy, or even Satanism. He says he can even write multiple good reviews under a pen name, and that he will help them to build credibility. He wants to be paid to write lies multiple times over. Eric completely destroys his own credibility by offering this service. Eric Gajewski recently interviewed Gerald Salenti. He advertised to buy 20,000 YouTube views 21 hours before this clip was filmed. Notice that his video of the interview with Salenti was also uploaded 21 hours before. Eric clearly wanted the fake views for this video. YouTube shows that he has 22,393 views after 21 hours. This is direct evidence of Eric's deception. These clips were filmed at each hour for many of the first 34 hours after the video was uploaded. The view totals were then recorded for each period. We can see that there are two ways in which the view totals move. One moves more horizontally and the other more vertically. Clearly, the more vertical sections were the periods when the fake views were being added. Eric also advertised for 1,000 fake likes on the next day, evidently to add to the same video. However, after a number of hours, the likes for the video were still only at 37. In the next audio clip, Eric explains how he told Gerald Salenti that, quote, the video took off quite well. Did Eric tell Salenti about the 20,000 or so fake views he almost certainly bought for this video? Probably not, because Salenti then posted the video on most if not all of his social media outlets, seemingly due to Eric saying it, quote, took off quite well. Uh, the last few talks that we've given with Theodore Schubat, with uh, Gerald uh, Salente, Hopefully we rubbed off on him a little bit with the message of Fatima. Uh, I know I, I followed up with him after um, letting him know just how um, you know the video took off quite well, and he actually posted it on on all his social media outlets, at least on the ones that I checked. The fact that Eric does not have the most viewed and followed traditional Catholic website is easily proven by looking at his blog's popularity on Alexa.com. Recently, Eric advertised to pay $50 for someone to lower his Alexa rank to under 100000 He included that he is willing to put an advertisement for them on his website for free for life if they can help him achieve this. Not only is Eric an utterly shameless and evil liar, but he is paying people to spam and lie on his behalf thousands and thousands of times over. This is called black hat marketing, and it can destroy a person's reputation and business. Most importantly, Eric's actions are clearly mortally sinful. Eric's ambition is so all-encompassing that he apparently wants to create the illusion that he has full-spectrum dominance over the entire traditional Catholic social media world. 
This is bad enough, but consider also that Eric has conducted such advertising business on a Sunday. This is also a mortal sin. This clip was filmed on Monday, the 5th of October at 9.09am. When we go to Eric's want to buy page and select the advertisement for 10 blog comments, we see that he created this ad 17 hours before, which would have been at about 4pm on Sunday. Likewise, when we go to the want to buy section and select the 100,000 Real USA website views for $10, we see that he created this ad 17 hours before, at 4pm on Sunday. He also advertised for 100,000 Alexa views at about 4pm on Sunday, the 18th of October. He repeatedly demanded that they be completed in 8 hours, and without any exceptions. Eric Kajewski even has a bumper sticker with this lie on it. Eric should have his Twitter and YouTube accounts suspended, because he is violating their policies against buying fake followers and views, etc. Eric is a thoroughly wicked deceiver. Eric recently said that he uses social media to quote, gain a greater visibility, but he did not tell anyone that he is buying the fake views and followers he boasts about. The methods he is using are called black hat in the social marketing world, because they often violate the social media website's policies. Eric's number one marketing pitch is a lie. When a gullible person falls for it and donates, he then buys more fake followers to increase the impression that he is bigger than he is, and the cycle continues. He probably thinks it's a brilliant idea, but he is an abomination in God's sight. Interestingly, another website that has almost the exact same layout as SEO clerks is called monsterbacklinks.com. Notice the demonic picture, and this is Eric's account. The large amount of fake followers, likes, etc. that Eric buys from SEO clerks are often generated by what's called click farms. This morning we look at the growing controversy over click farms. They are the companies making millions by creating a fake show of support for social media accounts. How about you need real views? I mean, uh, real YouTube views. I can support you uh, 1,000, I mean, per K. $3. He has 1,000 IDs. He has 1,000 like people have 1,000. In real account, we can provide 15,000. 15,000. So you have a total of 15,000. And Facebook cannot block this. No. Buying fake followers is a common tactic among the celebrities. President Obama has 19.5 million fake followers on Twitter, according to new research. And something strange is going on with Mitt Romney's Twitter account. It looks like he added more than 140,000 followers in just two days, according to Twitter Counter. This next man sells fake followers. Buying fake is merely a vehicle to get to where you need to go. Do you understand what I'm saying? But you are still breaking the terms of service people sign with Twitter that says no bots, no automation in any circumstances. You risk suspension of your account. Eric Kajewski's YouTube channel is revealing. Many of the videos that have large view totals have their statistics hidden. However, some don't. We can see that these videos show an unnatural looking spike in the daily views statistic. This is clear evidence that Eric purchased views for these videos. He has advertised that he quote needs to buy 15,000 YouTube views and 100 likes for $10, 50,000 YouTube views with 2,000 likes for $20, as well as 1,000 subscribers for $25. Eric demands a full refund if these are not completed in five days, and he complains that he has had problems with sellers not coming through on the deal. He also says he may need them for future orders as well. Here he demands the job to be done in five days. He threatens to ask for a full refund if they don't. He then invites them to join the Tradcat Knight team. What a disgrace. Here Eric says only to respond if they can do the job with no drops and says he will reorder every week if they do it as asked. He also threatens to ask for a full refund if they don't supply. Eric also purchased YouTube views from a person called Twitterfire, who sells 10,000 views for $6. Eric posted four comments on this person's account, so it would be reasonable to assume that he purchased at least 40,000 views. Keep in mind that the figures cited in this video were true at the time it was made, but that the numbers are changing daily, especially because Eric is so obsessed with increasing the numbers. The majority of Eric Gajewski's 35,960 subscribers on YouTube are almost certainly fake. Virtually none of them would even claim to care about God, Jesus Christ, the Catholic faith, or the salvation of souls. And the fact that Eric is deceiving people like he is in both a material and a spiritual way proves he doesn't care about these things either. He even advertised to buy 10,000 YouTube subscribers for $100. Here are some pictures of videos Eric uploaded. Notice that many of his videos, even after months, 
only have a few hundred views or approximately 1 to 2,000. This view count of a few hundred views or 1 to 2,000 can be seen on many of his personal programs and videos uploaded some months ago. A view count of a few hundred or 1 to 2,000 is what one would expect for the low quality, poor content and low popularity of Eric's videos. Yet in particular cases, even with programs and videos Eric uploaded the same day, week or month, the view count skyrockets to tens of thousands of views and sometimes over 100,000. In other words, Eric will upload a video that receives only a few hundred views. That will be followed a few days later with a video that receives tens of thousands of views. That will be followed a few days later by one that again only receives a few hundred views. And that will be followed a few days later by one that again receives tens of thousands. The following view totals were recorded early in October 2015. The August 8, 2014 video has 540 views, whereas the video for the 11th has 58,038 views and the video for the 13th has only 87. The August 21st video has 170 views, but the video for the 23rd has 56,013 views, and the video for the 26th has only 357. On September 11 he uploaded four videos. One has 313, one has 679, and one has 1,102. That's an average view count of 698. So it looks like he bought 20,000 for the fourth one he uploaded, which has 20,785. The October 29th video has 170. On November 2 he uploaded two videos. One has 613 views, while the other has 31,029 views, but the video for the third only has 390. On February 4 he uploaded two videos. One has 291 views, and the other one has 160,996 views. The February 22nd video has 1,933 views. Then the video for the 24th has 213,665, but the video for the 26th only has 497. The video for the 27th has 20,009 views, but the March 2nd video has 2,467. On March 3 he uploaded two videos. One has 215 views, and the other has 69,911. On March 20 he uploaded two videos. One has 1,215 views, while the other one has 23,573. On March 26, he uploaded another two videos. One has 1,052, while the other one has 108,629. These are the daily view totals over the last month for Eric Kajewski's YouTube account from socialblade.com. This website collects this data from the YouTube's API, meaning the same information you see on public YouTube channels. Eric's channel shows a consistent pattern of total views between 1 to 2,000. Seven of the 24 views are in this range. However, from the 22nd of September, we begin to see spikes in the view totals, starting with 15,339, then 26,748, 18,187, and so on. Both the 7th and 13th of October show significant jumps in the view total. Eric appears to have bought two blocks of fake views, one of 100,000 views, and the other of 50,000. Eric's fake view totals go all over the place, from the 20,000 range to the 40,000 range, and even into the 100,000s, and without any consistency in between. The monthly total views for the last year also show that Eric bought a lot of views in April and May of 2015, because the surrounding months don't even remotely approach the view totals of 635,000 and 571,000. We can see this reflected in the daily statistics for the feature video on Eric's channel. There are two distinct spikes for the months of April and May. The reason for the huge disparity, even among similar types of videos and videos uploaded during the same day, week or month, is almost certainly that he's paying for the high view counts on particular videos. The videos with only a few hundred views more accurately reflect the number of people who would be interested in his videos, if those few hundred views are even real. There isn't a consistency of large viewership because he doesn't have a large viewership. In the last few weeks, however, there's been more consistency. That's almost certainly because Eric has been receiving perhaps a few donations from gullible people, which enables him to purchase views for all the recent videos. With probably very few or almost zero exceptions, he only gets big numbers when he pays for them. And then, based on his big numbers, he constantly asks for more money to pay for more big numbers. It should be noted, of course, that the number of views a video receives, or the number of viewers a person has in general, doesn't necessarily indicate whether one is speaking truth or producing valuable material. There are extremely valuable videos that don't have many views, as a result of the bad will of men, and there are worthless and evil videos that have received millions. But Eric Gajewski's claims are fraudulent. 
Moreover, the fact that Gajewski knows that a huge percentage of his followers, etc., are purchased and fake, it constantly boasts about them anyway, shows that he's a dishonest and insincere person at his core. He knows that what he is claiming about himself isn't real, but he doesn't care. A man of such vanity and impure intentions is ripe for the use by the devil, and the devil indeed is using him to lead people into the utterly schismatic and heretical positions that will be exposed in this video, and to build a cult around himself. In fact, as the reviewer just some of his fake Twitter followers will soon show, when he constantly boasts about his so-called quote followers and his quote eagles, he's actually boasting about people who are not remotely Catholic, who promote filth, pornography, and who don't even listen to him or know who he is. Eric said to a person selling 100,000 fake Twitter followers that he might reorder soon. When we look at Tradcat Knight's statistics for Twitter followers at twittercounter.com, we can see sharp spikes of increase in numbers. On April 20, 2015, his followers rose by only 89. The following day and up until April 27, they rose by about 7,190 each day. They went from 52,922 on April 20 to 103,270 on April 27. That's an increase of 50,348 followers in 7 days. That's impossible without buying followers. On August 7, there was an increase of 2,632. The next few days it increased by about 11,879, when on August 11 it reached 210,735. The next day on August 12 he lost 27 followers. That's an increase from 163,222 on August 7 to 210,735 on August 11. That's 47,513 new followers in just 4 days. On September 15 there was an increase of only 27 followers. The next day there were suddenly 18,987 new followers until September 21 when there were 13,264 new followers to a total of 312,691 followers. That's an increase from 210,210 on September 15 to 312,691 on September 21. That's 102,481 new followers in just 6 days, which is impossible without buying followers. Hardly any of Gajewski's fake and purchased followers listen to him or would even be interested in the issues he discusses. This is easily seen when looking at the types of people who follow him. In a blog post which he has since removed, Eric boasted, quote, The reality is I have too many, quote, celebrities, notable politicians, government officials, presidential candidates, mainstream media types, major actors and actresses, international models, professional athletes to list, following this apostolate, end quote. No, Eric has too many fake followers. Consider that Jesus Christ said that his true followers would be hated by the world, yet Eric boasts about his worldly following. For example, he has a number of followers that advertise pornography. Obviously, none of these people would be interested in the Catholic faith, which is not to say that Eric teaches or has the Catholic faith, because he doesn't. There are also a number of people who advertise for a company that sells fake Twitter followers. Twitter's policy is that a block person cannot follow you. Yet Eric has blocked none of these people. So far removed from the idea of blocking anyone, Eric is paying for these people to follow him. Eric claimed recently that the reason for such followers on Twitter is due to spammers and that his email account was hacked. This is absurd nonsense. A hacker would not be helping Eric to pump up like a balloon the figures he boasts about. Eric is simply a liar. When a liar is discovered, they will usually keep lying to try to cover their tracks, especially if they've invested a lot of time, energy and money in their lie which Eric appears to have done. Also, in the comments section of this same post, he actually used a fake commenter there as well. This person's account shows 324 Google shares for medical and healthcare jobs for locum. Just think about the magnitude of deception Eric Kajewski is involved with. It is truly diabolical. Also, Eric himself is following many evil people. The pictures shown in this video are merely a small sample of his 300,000 quote followers and of the 200,000 he is following. Eric is following someone who says all opinions are Satan's, two people making the El Diablo, and someone who says they are evil. People who use profanity, he follows Bikini.com, a lingerie seller, and several porn whores. He follows a wizard, two witches, a magician, and someone who likes Harry Potter. Three people who believe in astrology, a quote sexuality expert, some Mormons and a Seventh-day Adventist, several Protestant quote ministers, Opus Day, a supporter of Israel and Hillary Clinton, someone who gets tattoos, three homosexuals, seven feminists and a Freemason, dancers, someone who writes about Beyonce, 
a Beatles fan, someone who is anti-religion, and a person who mocks the mass. He also follows at least 18 people who claim to work for Cosmopolitan magazine. This magazine is rapidly pro-homosexual. Not surprisingly, since Eric has no morals, he also follows a number of women who are dressed immodestly, including what appear to be teenagers. His MySpace page is even worse in this regard. All this is very interesting when one considers Eric's claim that he is the biggest traditional Catholic website in the world, and that he seems to believe that he is the, quote, great Catholic monarch, as will be shown later. Eric Kajewski's blog also provides an abundance of evidence to prove his deception. Eric has advertised for keyword website views three times. Once to buy 10,000 keyword website views for $7, another was to buy 5,000 keyword traffic for $5, and the third was to buy 1,000 keyword website traffic daily. These provide valuable evidence for Gajewski's deception, because he uses keywords that one would expect him to use. Traditional Catholic, Latin Mass, SSPX, Archbishop Lefebvre, SSPX Resistance, End Time News, Novus Auto, Set of Acantist, Vatican II. He has also advertised to buy 100,000 website views for $10, 50 blog comments for $5, as well as 500 poll votes for $15. This person sells 250,000 website views for $25, and we can see that Eric thanked them three times, so he probably purchased at least 750,000 fake views from them. He says here they can use quote unknown or quote anonymous on the blog page, evidently so that Eric knows he's getting what he paid for. He says it will be a long-term relationship and demands that all 10 comments are completed within 24 hours without any exceptions. Here he says he is looking for someone who can provide 500 votes for his blog poll. He also says he will contact them again in the future if they can do the job. He says here that if they can get him 25 to 50 blog comments within a few days, that he can use their services daily. He even says it is easy money and wants to pay them $5. Eric is paying people to lie for him. And then he goes and lies to the whole world that he is the most viewed and followed traditional Catholic website on the internet. What an outrage. He evidently did business with this person a few times because he thanks them and says he is reordering now and says thanks again. Here he says that it is easy money again and that he is going to pay them $2. He complains that many have been late and so he won't reorder them. He says he will use them daily if they do a quote good job. In addition to asking for donations based on the illusion that he is a large following, Eric even asks people to pay him to advertise on his blog. He says, quote, advertise with us. At the time of making this video, Eric had a total of 38 blog posts. Of those, 14 had no comments and 7 had one comment. That means that 54% of his blog posts had one or no comments. In fact, 80% of his blog posts had five or less comments. There were a total of 305 comments, of which 102 or 33% were made by Eric Gajewski himself. Based on my research, I believe that at least 49% of the comments were paid for. This means that Eric is ultimately responsible for at least 83% of his blog comments. Again, this shows there is almost no interest in his blog, and that he is obsessed with creating an illusion of popularity. There is such an abundance of evidence proving that he buys a large number of fake commenters, that it would take many hours to present it all, so I will only cover the main points. Many commenters don't speak English well or make grammatical sense. Of course, such people would almost certainly not be reading an article written in English. Many comments are from unknown or anonymous people, which Eric specifies to do in his advertisement. Many comments are short and shallow, indicating a lack of real engagement in the issue being discussed, and they often appear during a short space of time. Many simply say it's a nice site or that it's a, quote, real blog site. Eric recently advertised to buy 15 USA blog comments ASAP. He specifically requests that the blog comments are relevant and positive. This is obviously so as to mask the fact that they are bought comments. It also appears that Eric tells his true followers to repeat the comment they post. He probably does this to make the number of comments appear larger. One of the strangest comments was from someone advertising Sandstone, with 27 links to the same website. Of course, Eric does not delete what most people would consider to be spam, because he's paying them to spam him. They will also say strange or evil things, showing they are not interested in Catholicism. Two people said that the Tradcat Knight picture is beautiful, that the commenting list is very useful. One comment was from the Distance Education Institute in Gurgaon, which is in India. Someone didn't know where to send their fake comment about Planet X. Someone had an immodest picture and blasphemed. Someone who has two accounts said Eric's site helped them to increase their page rank in Google. 
Someone else posted almost the exact same comment. Great listings, said someone else. All these things happen. Eric wrote once that they tried to be the, quote, Walmart of the traditional Catholic world. The insincerity of Gajewski is plain for all to see. Eric evidently ordered 2,200 fake Google Plus followers, because he says here that he is reordering now. Many of his commenters have no activity on their Google Plus page, indicating that they probably have hundreds of accounts. Many of them have in their circle Peggy's Bookkeeping and Tax Service, or Carrot Sticks. This one even advertises pot. One person actually named himself SEO Clerk, and several of them advertise SEO Clerks on their Google page. We can see a pattern emerge when looking at their activity on Google+. They promote businesses. They promote the sale of fake followers. They will comment on the same videos and on the same day. They will repeat the same comments. This person repeated their comment four times. They will make it a point to say they subscribed and or liked the video. They comment in several different languages. They make excessively, quote, positive comments. They will sometimes have more than one account. They will also comment on immoral videos. Another called someone a, quote, promo god. Sometimes they will blaspheme. Someone else even responded to one fake comment with, quote, nice fake comment. These patterns can be observed so frequently that they can easily be explained if we assume that they are doing a job that they are being paid for. It is also possible that they deliberately make it obvious that they are fake followers so that their client, in this case Eric Gajewski, will know they are getting what they paid for. The fact that most of Eric's blog commenters are paid and fake is reinforced by the fact that several of the commenters are from Dhaka, Bangladesh, a notorious place for click farms. The internet is full of people offering to cheat your social media stats. So where in the world are brands buying their fake fans? One location comes up again and again. Dhaka in Bangladesh. Eric Gajewski has advertised to pay for people to sign up to his forum and make three posts for one dollar, to buy 250 forum members for ten dollars, and 15 forum posts daily for one dollar. Here Eric says it is easy money when he is willing to give one dollar. He says it is a quote fun forum with a lot of topics. As we will see, there is nothing fun about Eric's forum. The forum itself is a joke. Here he says he will reorder if they do a quote good job. He even says he will recommend them if they do a quote really good job. This is mortally sinful. He would recommend lying non-Catholics to go and lie for someone else. It is evil beyond description. Here he says his one dollar is easy money again. He asks if they are ready to quote join Tradcat Night and says he will be using them daily and that it is a long-term business proposition. This picture was taken on Sunday the 4th of October. Notice that he only has 115 quote forum members. This picture was taken only four days later on October 8. Eric suddenly has 1,183 members. That's impossible without buying followers. This was filmed on October 9. Here is an advertisement for 1,000 forum members at $50. Just below it, we see Eric thank the person and says he will reorder in the not-so-distant future. We can also see that he thanked them only two days ago. This means that the 1,000 or so new forum members were bought from this person named Spiderwave. There are a total of 1,218 threads on his forum, but only 1,389 posts. This means that at most, there are only 171 replies to the original post in the thread, and many of those would be from Eric himself. That's at least 86% of the threads that have been completely ignored. Also, only 62 of the 1,218 threads that I counted were started by people other than Eric Gajewski. That's 95% of the threads that were started by Eric. Look at all the zeros in the reply column, and notice that Eric is almost always the last to comment in each thread. There are clearly fake threads being started as well. This person started 12 threads, many of them advertising how to earn money as a click farmer. This thread even advertises the sale of fake Facebook likes. One section has two people advertising the same website, while another person advertises a website on how to increase testosterone. Eric also boasted about his fake popularity on another forum, not owned by him. In this forum, he criticized them for having only 2,700 followers. That's actually 22 times more than what he had before he bought his 1,000 new fake followers. He even boasted, quote, Tradcat Knight literally had 2,700 followers after the first hour. 
10,000 after the first day, end quote. Obviously, he got those, quote, followers because he bought them. He says, quote, anyone with only a couple thousand people following are not to be taken seriously, end quote. Eric only has 1,183 on his forum, and almost all of them are bought, so he's condemned out of his own mouth. He then continues to berate and criticize others, based entirely on his artificially inflated figures, which he knows are fake. He also challenges people to call him, insulting them by saying they are fruitcake, chicken, a little girl, cowardly little boys, can't take the heat, and says he would slap them around like a little girl. Eric sounds like a raging demon rather than a follower of Jesus Christ. A prime characteristic of Eric Kajewski is that he constantly asks for donations on his blog, his Facebook page, Tumblr page, Twitter account, forum and YouTube accounts, he makes it a priority to ask for donations. Notice that the donation button on his blog is directly above the website views counter. Eric is probably laughing to himself that a lot of the money he gets from donations goes straight back into the fake number of website views he buys from SEO Cloak. Eric has a pinned tweet at the top of his tweets asking for a donation. He also tweets a request for a donation almost every day along with the lie that he is the most viewed traditional Catholic page worldwide. He also has a pinned post at the top of his Facebook page, which asks for donations. Notice the absurd line that he made up to ask for money, quote, We go and grow as your charity flows, end quote. Eric probably thinks it is a stroke of genius that this slogan sums up his method of funneling donation money into fake followers and views. Another source of revenue Eric has dreamed up is selling t-shirts for $30. He has 10 t-shirt designs, one sweater, and three bumper stickers. These are all merely methods of fundraising that contribute to artificially inflating his popularity. Notice his emphasis on a, quote, order of the eagle. More on that soon. Eric might be likened to a policeman who shoots those who call for help, or a fireman who lights fires instead of putting them out. Eric does not have the Catholic faith, though he pretends to. He does not have the biggest website, though he pretends to. And he is paying people to lie hundreds of thousands of times, though he would almost certainly deny it. However, that's not all. Eric is trying to build himself up as a cult figure. He almost certainly believes that he is the great Catholic monarch. To my knowledge, he has never denied it. Eric has the name Tradcat Knight in this picture on his blog, which links to this page about the monarch. He has invented his own fake order called the quote, Order of the Eagle. His WordPress page is dedicated to this. However, consider that Eric builds himself up to be a heroic figure, yet there is not one picture of himself online in connection with the Tradcat Knight name. One would think that he would want his, quote, eagles to at least know what their leader looks like. Eric is constantly inviting people to join a, quote, new crusade, and he uses a crusader's picture all over the place. He even says to invite your family and friends, as if he were inviting them to a picnic. Eric's crusade is another fake. It actually defrauds and deceives people and leads them to hell. Eric is also militant in his delusions. He says a new, quote, Catholic military order is coming. Eric claims in this next clip that he will, quote, give the commands one day. So I'm making this very clear right now, on behalf of our Lord. What our Lord has me to do, okay, and I'm saying this in all humility, in all charity, okay, eventually what he will have me to do is to give the commands. I don't take the commands. I don't take the orders. I'm giving them. And at a certain point, people will understand that authority that has been given. People might not see it now. He calls his followers, quote, eagles. Uh, you know, if we, we don't have the intent of perfection, again, that's the one of the, the foundations of being an eagle. You know, there'll be many people who say, well, I want to be an eagle because I want to, you know, fight Islam. And this. No, 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 no. In this next clip, Eric says that as a, quote, eagle, People will have to give up their body. He wants people to be willing to die for his cause. You love your body too much. You love your health too much. You know, as a Catholic, you, you know, and more specifically as an eagle, you have to be willing to give up your body for our Lord. In this next clip, he claims he will be announcing a, quote, restoration to the world. Or as Catholics, we are counter-revolutionaries. We're not revolutionaries. We, we truly should be monarchists. Uh, and working towards uh, that great day of restoration, uh, of which I will publicly announce to the world. Next, he refers to the, quote, businessman in himself. What's next on the assignment? Much like a soldier would look down 
at his assignments for the day. I need to do this, 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 and this. And perhaps this is a little bit of the businessman in me, but I'm very goal oriented uh, for the day. You know, I, I have things that I need to do, and I go right down the list, check them off, bang, 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 bang. Okay. Kajuski's ramblings show that he is a deluded and possessed tool of Satan. His soul is morally, doctrinally, and spiritually bankrupt, and through his pride and sin he is enslaved to the devil. For Eric Gajewski, it's about the glory of himself rather than of God. Eric Gajewski was exposed in the excellent video made by Brother Peter Diamond of Most Holy Family Monastery, the truth about the SSPX, the SSPX MC, and similar groups. Another example of the demonic effects of such a false position is found in the absurd utterances of a supporter of the SSPX MC group. In a YouTube video, this individual articulated a position that's very close to that of the SSPX MC. In other words, he rejects the true position that the chair of St. Peter is vacant and stubbornly holds instead that the post-Vatican II claimants are valid popes. Yet, he simultaneously declares that his, quote, popes are not Catholic, that their, quote, church is not Catholic, that his, quote, popes are separated from the Catholic Church, yet still lead it, that they have the power of the magisterium, but people must not follow their magisterial teaching, that they and their, quote, bishops have jurisdiction, and that sedevacantists are supposedly wrong for holding that they don't have any jurisdiction, yet one must not commune with those, quote, popes or bishops who, according to him, have jurisdiction. It's just totally schismatic and heretical theological trash. He stated, Okay, so it's not possible at this point to be following all these errors and heresies. We can't follow the current magisterium as is, right, when we're talking about the authentic, because that is where all these errors and, and heresies are. He also stated, Yeah, we hold and maintain these popes not to be Catholics. We hold them to maintain that they are teaching heresies. He also stated, Archbishop of Feb speaks, because the conciliar church is not the Catholic church, objectively speaking. Everyone follow that? The Catholic Church now resides in a remnant, objectively speaking, which is outside that mainstream. They have separated themselves from the Church. They are modernists. They are not Catholics. He also stated, So really, the, the arguments between hardline traditionalists and state of is the, is the sense of jurisdiction. You know, we recognize that they still have jurisdiction against the errors of state of occultism. He also stated, those individuals who are attending the Vatican II new churches, they're not Catholics. They're modernists. Uh, so here's another demonstration of, of people you need to avoid. If you want to lose your soul, go ahead and start communing with the, the Pittsburgh Diocese because assuredly uh, you will definitely lose the faith and or if you have not already, quite potentially lose your soul. Such diabolical nonsense mocks and denies Catholic teaching in many ways. It rejects Catholic dogma on the unity of faith in the Church, on the unity of communion in the Church, on the infallibility of the magisterium, on the Church's immunity from error, etc. It's textbook schism, for he says that people must not commune with the bishop and the quote pope, he simultaneously says have jurisdiction and authority. That position, of course, also rejects the dogma that where Peter is, there is the true Church, as it holds that where Peter is, there is a false and non-Catholic Church, which one must reject and be separate from. Someone who obstinately adheres to such a position, as the aforementioned individual does, is certainly not a Catholic, but definitely a heretic and a schismatic with no faith in Catholic teaching at all. Eric Gajewski is a spiritual fraud. He claims to reject the mainstream SSPX and those who attend their masses, yet he praises Nicholas Gruner, who is more compromised and modernist than the SSPX itself. He also accepts the invalid new quote right of ordination, but he rejects the quote canonizations of the Vatican to anti-popes. This is absurd, for if the new right is valid, then so are the quote canonizations by the anti-popes, because both the quote ordinations and the quote canonizations are derived from the same authority, the Vatican II sect. Eric believes that it is heresy to reject quote baptism of desire. Like all baptism of desire heretics, he rejects the mountain of magisterial teaching, proving the absolute necessity of the sacrament of baptism for salvation. He also believes in the heresy of, quote, invincible ignorance. He says that someone can be saved if he has the Catholic faith in a, quote, hidden and unknown way. This is absurd heresy. No one can have the Catholic faith in a hidden and unknown way. To have the Catholic faith, one must also profess the Catholic faith in the external forum. He says that we cannot be positive that Luther and all the rest of the enemies of mankind are in hell. This is also absurd heresy. The Council of Florence declared that all those who die outside the Catholic Church go to hell. 
Eric Kajewski is a disgraceful apostate. See the video, The Best Argument Against Quote Baptism of Desire, and the book, Outside the Catholic Church There is Absolutely No Salvation. To financially support Eric Kajewski is obviously a mortal sin. He should be totally shunned and avoided. There is absolutely no justification for him lying to, deceiving, and defrauding others, as well as building himself up as a cult figure by putting himself in the place of God. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be humbled, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Matthew 23 verse 12 For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and suffer the loss of his soul? Mark 8 verse 36 Sadly, Eric Kajewski is a false Christ, a false prophet, a false shepherd, and a schismatic and a heretic. He treats souls as if they are a business commodity, rather than immortal and made in the image of God. For the best information on the traditional Catholic faith, and how modern Rome has lost the Catholic faith, please go to vaticancatholic.com.